um, I'm going to catch you guys up to sorry about this bear with me as I'm walking through this confession I still want to put this uh, prophetic dream down so I want to tell you guys what it was okay so this is March 14th um, so the Lord keeps talking to me in this dream about Operation Paperclip Hitler's top dedicated Nazis and the infiltration to the deep state that also connects to Disney Walt Disney that is I keep hearing the Lord say, I see all the deep wickedness, wickedness that goes on below the surface at Disneyland and Disney World that has been undercover for many years. I will allow the wickedness to surface and be judged, says the Lord, what has tried to deceive the masses by good magic. But God says, I have not changed. There is no such thing as good magic. Or playing magical roles do not play in that arena says the Lord did I not charge you not to entertain sorcery or divination says the Lord I am still the same God as in Deuteronomy 18 9 do not learn to imitate their ways they're detestable unto me says the Lord let no one this is a scripture let no one of you be found among you that is sacrificed their son or daughter in the fire who practices divination or sorcery, who interprets omens, engages in witchcraft, or going to places that encourage it, or watches it through a cartoon form, hence Disney movies, or going to Disney World or Disneyland, or casts spells, or who consults the dead. Anyone who does this, this is a scripture, this is detestable to the Lord our God. Because of these same detestable practices, the Lord, your God, will drive out the nations before you. You must be blameless before the Lord, your God. There is nothing new under the sun, but this avenue has deceived the masses, and I no longer will be mocked. This is the second part. Tell E vision, T-E-L dash E dash vision, has been used by the enemy to deceive. The tell a vision has been used to hypnotize your heart and to get a cold heart to the things that detest the Lord. Of course, the enemy knows that you would not let a real witch into your home, but it is perfectly okay to let a cartoon video come into your home or for you to visit Disney World or Disneyland. But the Lord says it's the same spirit. You have allowed witchcraft in your home. You have allowed witchcraft to be in your home by those videos and by dolls and by toys and by the things that are detestable to me. Even Mickey Mouse. I am cleaning house and you need to know my heart, says the Lord. Look to whatever is pure and holy as stated in Philippians and what edifies me, not satanic evil ways. The door came in through Operation Paperclip and the Nazis. The door that came open was carried out by Mind Control and Disney and the CIA. Okay, I'm going to read to you guys scriptures that God gave me in this. Leviticus 19.31 Do not turn to mediums or necromancers. Do not seek them out and so, you make, and so make yourselves unclean by them. I am the Lord your God. Exodus 22.18 You shall not permit a sorceress to live and yet Disney is filled with sorcery and witchcraft and it is promoted by parents daily and to watch it with their children. Lord's coming down on this hammer, you guys. Exodus twenty two eighteen, You shall not permit a sorceress to live. And yet Disney is filled with sorcery. So I want to say that one more time. I just said it one more time. Disneyland is filled with the word sorcery. If you go on any Disney movie and you look at the back of it, it's going to say sorcerer and it's going to say white magic and black magic. And it's going to say witchcraft and the good witch and the bad witch and all this kind of stuff. It's all the same. It's all divination. It's necromancing, raising them from the dead, talking to the dead. All of it is against the Lord. It's detestable to the Lord. And he says he'll drive you out. Many years. Oh, Leviticus 26. If a person turns to mediums, fortune tellers, um, tarot cards, um, even reading a horoscope, all of it is satanic. Um, even the magic eight ball. Um, uh, the Ouija board. I have a story about the Ouija board that will really get to you big time. Um, one of my best friends died from, from listening to a Ouija board. True story. 
If a person turns to medium and necromancers, whoring after them, I will set my face against them, that person, and cut him off from all of his people. Here's the rest of it. This is my added portion to it. Many years ago, my father had many dreams about the deep state and Disneyland and Disney World. He saw severe harm being done to children even back then. He saw sex trafficking and intense witchcraft that went under the surface that was connected to these places. He saw a satanic realm being fully operated and he never ever allowed us to watch any Disney movies or go to Disneyland or Disney World. He, would, um, he was ab absolutely against it. He would constantly say the Lord, the Lord means what he says, whether it's in cartoon form or not, it does not matter. It's a trick from the enemy. Just because you think it's in cartoon form, you've opened up a door in your house. Period. End of story. He never says it's he never says it's okay because it's pretend. It opens up huge doors to the enemy, to the satanic realm, and God is very, very clear about staying far from it. So my parents protected me from all of this witchcraft and sorcery and divination. And I am so very glad they did. Why are we more loyal to Disneyland and Disney World? The Lord God Almighty is saying to you right now. Why are we more loyal to Disney movies than to Jesus? Why do we defend such practices? Why do we allow those things in our home? Why do we get yearly passes to those? Ask yourself that question this day. God is about to surface the true wickedness that goes on behind closed doors there that is closely tied to these operations. The Lord says he has had enough. It is filled with sexual violent predators there. It is filled with registered sex offenders there. It is connected to the deep state at a very deep level. The Lord has been burning this in my spirit for days, and I fought the Lord on it because I said, oh man, God, people are going to excommunicate me over this one. And he said, I am asking you to share my heart, to tell the people to shut the door, get rid of all of their Disney movies, get rid of anything that's pertaining to Walt Disney. Don't go to Disney World. Don't go to Disneyland. It's not just pretend you've literally opened up the door to satanic realms. And if somebody really, really likes Disney World and Disneyland, you have to understand what is going on in their true heart because it's open doors to witchcraft on every single level. Whether you think it's innocent or not, it's hardcore witchcraft. The Bible also says rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft too. So if you go to tell you know your kids or your spouse, hey, guess what? We're getting rid of all these Disney movies and they throw a fit. Rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft too. So, I know I'm going to get some hate mail over this. Ask me if I care. I don't care. I want to see people get set free. The Lord said, tell my people to get on my side and get ready for the great divide as I bring judgment against the enemy. And I'm going house to house seeking out whose hearts are completely mine. So, this is going to be a tough one because Disney invades betting. It invades toys. It invades movies. It invades everything. Why do you think the devil did that? Because if he can desensitize you to thinking it's okay, then he's won that battle, hasn't he? So the bedding you're having is witch, full of witchcraft. The toys that your kids are playing with are full of witchcraft. Their lunchbox is full of witchcraft. And you might think I'm nuts, but I don't really care. There's stories in the Bible which talk about get rid of the unclean thing. Just like Achan When Achan sin had um, all the stuff, the detestable things to the Lord underneath that tent, they killed every single person in the family and they killed all their animals. And, and, and 37,000 people died because Achan had kept that sin buried under the tent. And the Lord said, do not keep the detestable things. But because that man got greedy and he went it his way, he literally became the curse for the entire tribe. And so Joshua was like, we got to get this curse out from underneath us. And it was literally under the tent. So they went tent to tent, 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 tent. Finally, the guy's like, okay, 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 I'm guilty, I'm guilty. So did God have mercy? Nope, he killed them. He killed them all. He even killed their animals because they chose the unclean thing. They chose to keep their stuff. They chose to keep what God told them to get rid of. And God is saying right here in this Disney World, Disneyland, anything related to Disney, you have opened up the biggest door to the enemy allowing that. I want to I want to add one last thing. Um, Harry Potter, super evil. Another thing that people do that open up the doors to witchcraft, if you guys celebrate Halloween at all and you guys have your little you know, little um, ghosts out in front. You have your little witches and you have your little, um, like, cemetery burial things. If you have your goblins, that is every form of witchcraft known unto man. The devil doesn't play fair, and so he doesn't give a rat's anyhow about you having a pretend one, um, a, um, a paper plate one, a fabric one, um, a cardboard box one. He don't care. He doesn't play fair. So if you have any of that stuff and it's in your garage, I'm telling you what, you're under curse. And I can say that with all boldness because it's true. So if you have any of the like, anything Disney, 
I don't care if it's a tablecloth. I don't care if it's a lunchbox. I don't care if it's bedding. I don't care if it's a Walt Disney movie. I don't care if it's a figurine. You've opened up the door to the enemy. And you might think I'm nuts and I don't really care. I've been doing deliverance on people for umpteen years. I did it with my father. Um, they've proven if you watch the movie um, Out of Shadows um, that Disney is connected to the deep state. Um, that Disney has tons of registered sex offenders. That, that Disney is connected to the satanic realm. So don't even believe me. Get online, go look it up yourself. You're gonna find it flooded throughout um, Out of Shadows is what it's called. And um, it's gonna blow your mind. So, but my dad was way before his time and he got this prophetic word back in the 70s. And so we were never allowed to do that. Never, 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 never. And now I'm glad because I don't have to renounce and repent a bunch of stuff that I never had to see um, or get rid of stuff. So I never let my kids see it either. And I'm a stickler to it. And we don't do the Disneyland at all. I'm anti it to the core of my being. And so, um, you might think it's innocent. I'm going to challenge you to go deeper with God because once you go deeper with God, everything has an original root. And if you go after the root, then you go after the very demon that is taunting your house. So if you've had sickness, if you've had disease, if you've had financial problems, if you've had every horde of hell come against you, there's a really strong chance you got all kinds of junk in your garage or in bedrooms or in your living room that you thought was innocent and God's like, burn it, get rid of it. So even in the New Testament, they burned a bunch of stuff. They burned, you know, you have to understand the root of things and go after that so that you can have your freedom. And so if you practice um, Halloween, I'm going to tell you what, that's like the biggest satanic holiday of the year. And they sacrifice more children and more um, people on that day than any other year. So at my house, I don't celebrate it. I don't hand out candy. I don't promote it. Um, we do tons of fasting, tons of praying, tons of seeking God's face because I'm not about to go celebrate the satanic holy day. And you might think I'm religious and I'm crazy, but you know what? I, I, I serve a God that I'm 100% sold out to him. So I'm not going to celebrate anything that the enemy wants to. So, so Father God, I just pray as this is a hard message for some people to receive, that they would feel convicted. They would go through their house and they would get rid of the unclean thing. Lord, they would separate themselves and get holy as, as, as you've called us to be holy, God. And Lord, it's detestable unto you. You said you will drive them out. And Lord, I just pray, God, that they would take this very seriously. In the name of Jesus, they would look up scriptures on witchcraft. They would look up scriptures on mediums and necromancers. They would look up scriptures on um, the detestable things to the Lord to realize that is such an offense to you, God. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Um, all right, I love you guys so much, and I know this might be hard for some people to swallow, but I have to obey God. So I'm playing catch up here for a minute while I'm awake before I go to sleep. Um, God bless you guys. Talk to you later. Bye.